times now, and the BBC has corrected itself on a trans issue. Well, um, the BBC uh, had, has amended a controversial trans story, but are kind of silent on pronoun claims. Apparently, the, the BBC story was a subject of thousands of complaints and protests. Um, the corporation's executive complaints unit, ECU, issued a roughly 4,000-word ruling on the BBC News website article where it talked about um, lesbian women claiming... It, it gave the impression in the title of the article that gay women had been pressured to have sex with trans women. And the article was actually about gay women feeling they had to give into social construct and pressure and have sex with trans women, even though they didn't really feel like they wanted to. They weren't being forced physically. They were forcing themselves in their own mind. So they had to kind of reword the title of the article. And they're still not... Mm, they're sure, not sure. It doesn't seem like they're confident on pronouns, though, the BBC with this article. Mm. But the, the survey that it was based on is uh, a questionable one statistically. Yes, yeah. it, was, uh, it was actually conducted by Get the L Out, and uh, it, was only study, it was only 80 people who were part of that group that mm. were uh, studied, so they would say that that would skew it because they weren't actually going out into the wider population. But, you know, to the, what Scott was talking about earlier, um, feeling pressured into having sex by some trans women, welcome to being a woman. How, like, which woman hasn't been pressured to have sex with a man? Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's just, welcome to Earth. I think these gay women, they want to feel safer, and I think that they don't uh, feel supported by the community they're involved in if they turn down a trans person. I think mm. the trans person, you know... Uh, Aren't we just allowed to reject who we don't fancy? I mean, we, it's a discriminatory... Dating is discriminatory by nature, you, right? We are, of course, but I think the article itself came into trouble because the pronouns they were mentioning were not identifying the people who felt they'd been put in awkward positions properly. And one woman, woman complained that she had been... Uh, in, in another article that the BBC had sort of talked about, that she had been raped by a him. And then the actual pronoun used should have been an it or a they. And so the BBC had to go back and look at the pronoun and decide how that could be used. I didn't know it was appropriate. <laughs> it sounds rude to me as well. Interesting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Journalism ain't easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Although finding a survey that's not based on 80 people where they self-select, I mean, you, of can, course. you can find any result, especially with online now. You can get 80 people who think something. You can I'm sure there's 80 people who like that jacket. Study. You know, this, it'll be hard. Or, to find or promote your own study to yeah, get you the could, findings yeah. you want. Yeah. You know? Nothing wrong with this jacket. My <laughs> not 80 people, just, just one who likes it. The only it. thing wrong with it right is it matches the trousers. Uh, when